Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys this look right here using my Tiny Marvels palette with Sydney Grace. I wanted to show you guys this look. This is something I wore the other day and I really, really like it. It's softer but still like a little glam. It has a little bit of color in there. And if you want to wear this and have it just be a little bit softer than what it is, you could substitute the bottom lash line where I used Walkin' Stick and you could put Tree Hopper there. You could skip out on the liner and just, again, make it a little bit softer. But I really like the way that this look came out. It's like soft but glam and a little bit of color but not too much. I just really, really enjoyed it. So I wanted to share it with you all. As always, I'm going to be listing this with the Tiny Marvels playlist. In case you haven't seen that, that's where I am putting all of the looks that I create using this palette. So they're all in one place, easy for you guys to check out in case you wanna get some inspiration. Also, if you've placed a pre-order for the palette or are about to, they are shipping out super, super, super soon. So expect to get a notification. I'm so excited that they are going to be back in stock. <laughs> but anywho, if you would like to see how I created this look, just keep watching. I'm going in with the Royal and Lang Nickel Omnia Pro BOM 430 in the shade Tree Hopper. This is definitely my go-to transition shade. It's just easy. I can use this for every single look. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in the crease and buff it upwards. I'm not being really precise. I'm just really going in big circles and buffing it out. Going in with that same brush, and now I'm going to take the shade Death Moth. I am going to start buffing this on the outer corner and up into the crease, kind of focusing on the outer portion of the eye. And the reason why I'm sticking with this brush in particular is because I want a softer application. I've been getting requests for just a soft look using the palette. And if you use a fluffy brush, you're gonna get a softer application instead of going in with, you know, my usuals. <laughs> uh, using something fluffy like this, you'll get a much softer look. BK Beauty 206 in the shade Fire Butts. Again, I'm using a brush that's a little bit more on the fluffy side. But fire butts is intense, so <laughs> I'm going to be going back and forth. I didn't pick up a lot of product, or at least I thought I didn't. <laughs> I'm just going to go back and forth and buff this it kind of up to the crease, like slightly in the crease, and over the last shade we laid down. I just want to make sure and just buff, buff, buff this into the skin. Going back in with the last brush I used, but I'm not picking up any additional product. I'm just kind of going around the outside edge. On a Delium Tools Golden Triangle 776 blending brush, I'm grabbing the shade Web. I'm going to buff this on the front portion. Again, gonna blend into fire butts. Excess from the brush right on the brow arch. Sigma E35 for my glitzy fritzy collaboration. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of tree hopper and I'm just going to run this in between again just to soften up any edges. Next up, I'm going in with walk and stick on a Tom Ford number 12. 
I'm gonna tap this along the lower lash line and just kind of drag it from inner to outer corner. Royal and Lane Nickel Omnia Pro BOM 435. I'm taking the shade Scarab and I am going to start placing this on the outer edge of the eye just for some added definition without it being again too intense but you could skip this if you didn't want to add this in I'm kind of creating a soft little mini winged liner effect I'm only going about three quarters of the way in on the lid. Now I'm gonna add inner rim liner and then I will go off camera and add on mascara. All right, beauties, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.